Hi hey everybody, so I'm going to go through with you the example of my coffee and I'm going to try and use the guess strategy as well so that you become familiar with setting out of your um, answers. It may seem like it's a bit of a headache but as the questions get more complicated it is a much better way of doing things and much easier for the person who's marking your paper to follow your working. So the first thing we're going to do is to write down the things that we are given. And in this case, we're given that the mass of the coffee is 200 grams. And um, actually, we need to make sure our masses are in kilograms. So 200 grams is 0.2 of a kilogram. Um, our initial temperature is 80 degrees. So I'm going to write that with a TI. 80 degrees and the other thing we need is the specific heat capacity of water and so we're given that and you get a resource sheet in the um, um, in the resource sheet in the exam which I will give you once you're back at school so that is specific heat capacity of water is 4200 joules per kilogram per degree C, and the total heat added is 21,000, oh sorry, is 20,160 joules. So they're all the things that we're given, and the thing that we have to calculate, the unknown, is the change in temperature. We actually need the final temperature, but if we calculate the change in temperature first, then we can calculate the final temperature from that. Okay, next, we've got given, unknown, now we need an equation. Again, you don't need to learn this equation, you're given it in the exam, and it's Q equals MC delta T. And remember, we're looking to find delta T. So now, next part of our guess strategy is to substitute so we've got given unknown equation substitute so we've got 20,160 equals 0.2 times 4,200 times delta t and if you use a brain box in maths you will know that you need to divide by these two because they're multiplied on this side of the equation so it's 2160 divided by 0.2 times 4,200 will give us delta T, and that gives us a delta T of 24 degrees. Okay, so the, if the coffee starts at 80, and the temperature difference is 24, okay, then the final temperature, uh, we're going to solve this time, okay, so the final temperature is the initial temperature minus the change in temperature. So it's 80 minus 24. So the temp final temperature of the coffee when I drink it is 56 degrees. Okay, hopefully you followed that. That should be straightforward. Um, what students tend to find is that these questions are relatively easy in the exam and it's a pretty easy excellence. Uh, although the excellence question is a bit more complicated than this one. Well done. Thanks.